Hey, this is Emily Carr's The House of All Sorts, Chapter 6, Brooding and Homing. House, I have gone to bed in your attic crying with smart and hurt, as though I had been a hen under whose wing hornets had built their nest and stung me every time I quivered a feather. House, I have slept too in your attic, serene as a brooding dove. The Indian eagles painted on the underside of the roof's shingles brooded over my head as I brooded over the house of all sorts. Three separate sets of souls beside my own it housed, souls for whose material comfort I was responsible. Every hen loosens up her feathers to brood over what she has hatched. Often, the domestic hen is badly fooled, finds herself mothering goslings, ducks, or guinea fowl instead of good, ordinary chickens. Only the hen who steals her nest away can be sure whose eggs she is sitting on. The house of all sorts seemed to get more goslings and guinea fowl than plain chickens. I tried to be a square old hen, but the mincing guineas and the gawky goslings tried me. The guineas peeped complainingly, the goslings waddled into all the puddles and came back to chill my skin. In no time, too, they outgrew my brooding squat, hoisting me clear off my feet. You taught me, old house, that every bird wants some of her own feathers in the lining of her nest. At first I tried to make my sweets into complete homes, arranged everything as I would like it myself. But people changed it all around, discarded, substituted, it is best in a house of all sorts to provide the necessary only and leave each woman to do her own homing.